Wilt Chamberlain yeah. used to do that yeah. move. Yes, yes. And they're thinking, why, why, why not bring that back? Rolling to the basket to throw it up. He gets two. His first career NBA points come in Madison Square Garden. I'll, I'll tell you what, he's he what he's doing right now, it looks a lot better. He's making he looks a lot better. Changed the shot right there. Wanna make it. Now the people who came saying, like, let's play five more minutes. <laughs> the bench is loving it. The bench is loving it. Barrett is fouled going to the basket. And Barrett knows a little bit about Taco. All right, let's go back. Taco Fall gets the catch. He's going to bring the thunder. He got a quick layup right there. Uh, listen, I love I love Taco. I think he's a great guy and all that stuff, right? But my whole thing was like, he needs to learn how to play quicker, play faster, get out of screens faster, move to the ball, be decisive. And I don't know what happened since the preseason to right now, and the small sample size that I've just seen, and obviously with the whole crowd and everything like that, like he's done that. So yeah. whatever, whoever's working with him is doing a really good job. There's measurable improvement. It's, like, I'm not the only one seeing this, right? Yeah. Okay. No. No, don't. Porters trying to lay out. Taco looking to make a pass out of the post, and he's calling for a double dribble, I think. Ah, oh, come on. They got him with a carry. I'd like to continue to see him in pick and roll. I think ultimately he'll. He has to be a good pick and roll player. I'd like to see him in more pick and rolls. Getting out of it quickly. Yeah, yeah Damian Dotson, they, they had high hopes for him. Yeah. Just a guy that's buried now. Edwards. Green going to the basket and he gets fouled. So he'll get a chance to get his first NBA points here. Which Michael Green, I'll say, one of the best athletes in the NBA. Let him get downhill, just elevates. He knows exactly what to do with it. I ran into his father when I was leaving the Philadelphia game, and uh, I had to ask him, like, like you, you know, he, he, Devontae Green, he's one of the best athletes in the league, right? It, and I said, well, so what kind of athlete were you? He's like, I used to touch the top of the backboard. <laughs> <laughs> I go, it shows, it shows. This is a couple of free throws. Minute and a half to play. Barrett is left open, knocks down a three. Don't forget, coming right up after the game, Kyle Draper and Chris Mannix will have post game live presented by you and the four dealers. Lots to talk about here. Kemba Walker's performance. Taco getting his first NBA points. Wanamaker gets an easy two there. They yeah, a lot of good things to happen today. You know, I think Kemba sort of figured out, like, okay, this is how I'm going to be the Kemba Walker of the Boston Celtics. Another rebound. He runs the floor really well. Really well. Coming across the lane. Oh. And no. That's a great move. Yep. That's a great move for him. Whoa! Gets the block and the foul. Oh! Uh, you can't challenge Taco. No way. Look at this. Get that shot out of here. Oh, I thought that was a clean block. I think it was, too. As the great Rasheed Wallace used to say, ball don't ball lie. Don't lie. <laughs> ball don't lie. Four points, three rebounds. 
Got a chance to get one more shot off here. Yeah. 4.3 rebounds, but appreciably better than what yeah. we saw the last preseason game. This has got to really help his confidence, too. Yeah. Celtics are just going to run the clock down. Carson Edwards is <laughs> having a conversation with Brad Stevens. Brad laughed in the middle of the conversation, so I'm not sure what it <laughs> suggested. And the Celtics take the turnover, and they take the game 118 to 95. A handy win over the Knicks in the Knicks home opener tonight. The crowd's been filing out of the building for quite a while. Kemba Walker leads all scorers with 32. And that is the ball game. Taco's taking a seat over there. Now we got a whistle. Taco says, yep, I'm getting up. <laughs> in the game. Well, he's going to play against uh, Maker. 18 rebounds for Cantor, by the way. He said Maker. It makes Maker look like a, a little kid. Taco with the block and the foul. That was a guess. Okay, well, I'm sure we'll take a look at it here. All right. Yeah. Put body in there. Now, one of the things I look for at a guy his size is can he move his feet? And he can move his feet. And uh, once he gets the... Free gets a screen from Taco. Gets another look and hits a little folder in the lane. Wow, that is going to be good. And I, every time I tuned in up there to see him play, he sprained an ankle. These are his first minutes in the garden, really. He gives it up. Maker, 10 on the clock. Throws it away. Well, he was afraid of Taco. That's why I got rid of the ball because Taco was really breathing down my, my neck. 25 turnovers in the game for the Pistons. Three and a half to play. Maker gets a quick two. Frazier will defend Wanamaker. Frazier spent a brief time with the Celtics. Had a great year up in Maine a few years back. Wanamaker. Taco inside. Couldn't get the handle. Dives for the loose ball. Picked off, though, by the Pistons. They get it quickly to Frazier to Maker in the middle. Maker is hammered. Green defending, saying he get pushed off. Yeah. He did. Oh. He wasn't kidding. That was an offensive foul. Yeah. <laughs> a reminder, the Amica game ball autographed by Tommy Heinsohn goes to a Celtic fan at Boston Children's Hospital. Amica is proud to be a longtime supporter of Boston Children's for the past 12 years. Expect more when you experience Amica auto, home, and life insurance. Now, Maker has really got the quickness of a guy like 6'6". And uh, we're going to see if Taco can stay with him, getting up and down the floor. That's what I'll be looking for. Williams. A foul is called on Williams. Some good notes off tonight's broadcast here, courtesy of Dick Light. 52 points in 56 minutes for Brown and, Brown and Tatum. Kemba Walker had 11 assists in the game, a season high. Cantor had 18 rebounds off the bench. 
Frazier comes up shooting and knocks it down. Drummond had a double-double tonight. That's his 15th straight. Langford with his first career points. Green doesn't go inside to tackle. Williams is looking for him. Get it to Green. Green. No tips. Brown the other way. And Wanamaker knocks it out of bounds. Two minutes straight up to go in the game. Celtics play again on Sunday. Six o'clock start. We'll begin our coverage at 5.30. As Celtics take on Charlotte. Two minutes to go in taco time. It's Toronto and Miami, both winners of their games. The Sixers trailing Dallas in the third quarter. Dallas has really emerged as a very good basketball team, especially when Doncic, Doncic is healthy. for Taco. Williams gets the ball inside. Taco making a move. Back the other way. Comes back with the hook. Gets the bounce. Jogs up the court. Look at the bench. Look at the bench. The bench is going crazy for him. Comes out of there, dribbling with it. Probably not a good idea. <laughs> All right, that's a lesson. Whoa. Bruce Brown. A city kid. Brown with the quick hands. Green able to come back up with it. Green takes off to the basket. Whoa. That's some of the explosion you can see out of Javante. Take a look at Taco. Works his way in. Little up fake. Frees up the shooting hand. He'll be able to free up his shooting hand at will. <laughs> That's about a three feet over the a seven footer. He got fouled from behind by Maker. That is what a weapon will look like in his future career. Alley-oops. Now, he's got a touch here. Let's watch him shoot free throws. He's got a good release. There's a 7-6 guy with a... <laughs> no, I'm thinking the same thing. Make a free throw. Remember Wilt? And Shaq. <laughs> Chance of those, MVP. Those two. <laughs> <laughs> As I said, this, this building just went electric when he came in the game. The high look knocks down another three. He's got three of them in the game. Three for six shooting out deep. Under a minute. One more chance for a touch for Taco here. Want to make underneath two. <laughs> that was good hands too because that that ball came zipping at him. Celts uh, should have one more offensive trip here. Look at that defense. Bend down. Didn't go for the fake. Frazier over the shoulder. Rebound to Green and Celtics will not try to score and Boston. Wins this game relatively easily. Coming right up after the game, Kyle and Scal will have post game live presented by the New England Ford dealers. Brad Stevens, Strange Casey meet at half court. Monk, a deep three. Taco's got the rebound. <laughs> I, I tell you, they'll start cheering when he bends over to tie his shoelaces. <laughs> He's got them. Wanamaker tried to get him rolling to the hoop. Green. 
unable to get it to go down. Final two minutes of this one now. Monk the other way. Bernie Gomez has a little trouble with it. Rebound to Williams. Holding Bridges off with one arm. Celtics have a 54 to 27 rebounding edge in this game. Taco for two. <laughs> I mean, this is Christmas three days early for these fans. What a night for Tatum. Wow. Go get him, Taco! Once again, they're wacko for Taco. Once again, the chant of MVP. <laughs> Some final game numbers going by there, Amika game numbers. Cancer, once again, a big rebounding night. Williams ahead of the field, gets two. Career high 12 for Williams. Bridges bullying his way to the basket, and Taco just went up and caught it. <laughs> that is just about going to do it in a quarter where. Jason Tatum single-handedly outscored Charlotte in the fourth quarter, 21 to six. Taco Paul checking into the ball game. Well, this young man has done a nice job for them in the yeah. G League. He did a terrific job at Central Florida, no doubt about that. So far this year, averaging 4.3 and two and a half rebounds. Much of his. Efficiency with Maine of the G League. Did a great job for them. And where he really caught the attention of the coaching staff of the Celtics was out in the Las Vegas Summer League, where he played very well. You see his numbers in 18 games with Maine. Done a nice job and has some pretty good skills. Tybalt from the baseline. With a young man like this and a talent, it's a great game because you can play him in the G League. He can still practice with you, and everything is cool yeah. with that. And he's gaining experience practicing every day with NBA talent. Brad Stevens coming out of the summer league in Las Vegas was really intrigued by his potential and decided to sign him to a contract, the first a two-way, now a deal, and. Third team all AAC conference, American conference. At the University of Central Florida. Great for Coach uh, Johnny Dawkins down there in Orlando. Everybody's arc and everybody's path is a little bit different. Right now they're, they're in a 2 3 zone, play zone. So that your big center, there, there it is right there. On cue, he'll be the yeah. big center, almost at a block. That's all right. The main thing is, see, you can play 2-3 zone with him. And then in the NBA, you have to be out of the uh, painted area in the center area in 2.9. I don't know. I don't get, I don't know. I, even <laughs> when they put 2.9 and 3, I, what's the difference? That one tenth but, confuses uh, me. Yeah. <laughs> but the big thing is, is he can just move like he has been on the last two possessions from side to side and then he steps in and then he'll jump to the other side of the lane and everybody else can play zone and match up but today has been a great day for 
Boston Celtics game plan, defense, and then Brown and Tatum stepping up big, and then three guys off the bench making extra you know, contributions. Talk will fall inside. Go. Smooth looking jump hook. And it's taco time. Nice. Real crowd favorite, Nato. Chased after his own rebound and got it. Here's Trey Burke out front. Five on the shot clock. And Ojale with a rebound. Ojale himself has done a nice job off the bench today. Has nine points. Mm -hmm. Tough drive and draws the hit. He talked about the, the footwork. He talked a little pretty smooth here. Oh, no, well, come on. Now. See, he made a roll, and when he rolls, he's so much taller. Even if you play him perfectly, just throw the high lob pass. He is the heaviest player in the NBA. Jokic and Zion Williamson in that order after him. But uh, seven foot five, he can be a real game changer at both ends. Remember at the top of the game we said that and you look up right now and you say, hey, 93 for Philly, that's getting the job done. Well, the 76ers having a tough time the result of that impervious defense as Taco Ball tries to post up on the block. Langford drives as it knocked out of bounds. What a night for Jalen Brown. 32 points on the evening nine rebounds and his first 14 games against Philadelphia he was unable to crack the code he certainly has tonight 13 to 22 from the field and I'll tell you what uh, Jalen Brown made an impact early in this game and when Tatum sat down after about six minutes in the first quarter Brown kind of did a lot of the heavy lifting at the offensive end and it put the Celtics on the right track to victory. Well, just look at Brown in his career. He came in the first year, seven points, then 14, then 13, and this year 20. So the progress has been there because the shooting percentage is there. But most of all, minutes. You can have great shooting percentage, but you need the minutes to get the points. When you talk about mentorship and the value of it, he tells me he was mentored by Sharif Abdul Rahim. He was a longtime player in the come NBA on. Hubie, right? And hey, what, what, Cal graduate now. like him. Two suburban Atlanta, Georgia players who went out to the University of California. Come on right. now. Just yep. think about that now. Some pretty good ties there across Absolutely. the country. Both guys very intelligent. If you're going to take on that academic schedule out there at Cal. Yeah. Took, took a master's course as a freshman at Cal. Now, some of us, when we graduate, it's not magna cum laude. Some of us, like me, it's thank you, laude. <laughs> Just get through. <laughs> 12 seconds to go. And the Celtics are going to earn their 33rd win of the season against just 15 losses. And Philadelphia are going to fall to 31-19 and 19 as their road woes continue. Getting a win against a quality opponent like Boston, pardon me, like Philadelphia, and allowing Kemba Walker to heal from that knee injury, key for Boston. And he's going to come into the game, much to the delight of the fans, as Jason Tatum, with his sixth 30 point game of the season, this young man going to make his first appearance in an all star game. Boy, as he deserved, he is a star on the rise. Looking there, want to try and get it to Taco. Williams lines up the three pointer. That's good. Boy, Williams played a really impressive game 13 points, six rebounds. He hit three threes. Remember, he was your backup center here tonight. And then also the fact that he and Wanamaker are two guys that you can bring in that can play multiple positions and score. Jefferson gets his own rebound. Johnson misses. 
<laughs> Paul gets the cheer for grabbing the rebound, and that'll do it. Celtics win their fifth in a row. Eight and one in their last nine games, and get a brilliant performance from their young all-star, Jason Tatum, with 33 points.